Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to talk about aftermarket Ryobi batteries on Data It Yourself. So I received this 40 volt aftermarket battery to test out against uh, the standard Ryobi battery. Um, I'll have a link in the description to this battery with the price. These are significantly lower than the Ryobi factory batteries or the OEM batteries, but um, there's no guarantee on these in a sense that if you use them in a Ryobi tool and something happens to the battery, is Ryobi going to honor their warranty? Um, I don't know how these are built. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more research and hopefully we'll see that later in the video. Um, what I am going to do is test this out. This is a 6 amp and it is fully charged. I don't know if you can see the lights. There's four red ones there. And I'm going to clean up all these leaves you see behind me as well as in my front yard. Let's get started and I'll let you know how long that took. So here's all the leaves I vacuumed up. You see my arm length for reference point. Uh, one bag, everything, 12 minutes. Okay, so these are the three 40 volt batteries that I own. This is the OP4026 2.0 amp, the OP4026i or 426 2.6 amp, and then this is the Coulon Power OP4040, which is a Ryobi part number, uh, 6 amp. I pulled this one right out of the box um, the day I received it. We were in the middle of a 12 hour blackout um, these two batteries were fully charged and this one had one dot on it and it ran for about three hours on one dot in this 300 watt charger. So it was able to keep my laptop charged and my phone charged. Um, the funny thing was this um, two amp when I put it in there fully charged and I don't know if you can see that but watch this. It does not work in this 300 watt uh, inverter. And as you can see, that battery is fully charged. Now the Coulon Power one, as you can see, only two dots now. So this ran for about 15 minutes in the leaf blower and it is still going strong. So uh, I'm pretty happy with the performance of this battery so far. So what's the big deal you ask? Well, the 6 amp Ryobi battery from Home Depot is $179. This battery, 89 bucks from Amazon. So you can get two of these for the price of one of those.
Okay, so I got three batteries here. I have the five amp, I have the three amp, and I have a one and a half amp. So I don't have a comparable battery to this uh, aftermarket, but the three amp's the closest I have. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put them in this vacuum cleaner, and we're gonna run a timer, and we're gonna check to see how many minutes per amp hour we get out of this three gallon vac. All right, let's start with the amp and a half. And here we go. So just under six minutes for that. All right. This is the three amp, fully charged. Okay, just shy of 10 minutes. Okay, so if a one and a half gave us six minutes and a three gave us 10, this should give us 13 minutes, 14 minutes maybe. Let's check. And just to show you, Fully charged. Here we go. All right, so what did that prove? Well, what I found out was three amp and the five amp give me about three minutes of runtime per amp, whereas the one and a half amp actually gave me four minutes of runtime per amp. So for your money, you're gonna get longer runtime with the uh, smaller battery, but you're gonna actually be changing batteries more often. Therefore, you have to buy more batteries. So almost equal, I would say. Well, what's the price difference? Well. This one, 49 bucks. This one, $79. And they're actually running a special right now for a six amp battery set of two for 139, which averages out to about 70 bucks a battery. This one, $27. Okay, so what do I like and what don't I like? Well, I like the price. I definitely like the price. These batteries are by far half the price of the standard battery. What I don't like is the unknown. Um, I don't know what kind of battery protection circuits are in here. I don't know the quality of the cell. Probably just a generic 18650 cell in here, but I don't know that. Um, these, if you go on Amazon, uh, I got this one from Coulomb Power, but there's probably five or six other manufacturers listed on Amazon at different price points between $89 and about $119 with a battery that looks exactly like this. This one's from Coulomb Power though. Um, what else don't I like? Well, the 40 volt and the newer 18 volts have this rubber shroud around it for impact resistance. Um, what I noticed is none of the uh, aftermarket batteries have any of that type of coating. Uh, probably to save a little money on the manufacturing, but I use these every day, both in my shop and at home, or excuse me, on the job sites, and I drop my tools. So that impact resistance is definitely a product saver for the long life of these batteries. So ultimately the decision is gonna be yours when it comes to putting an aftermarket battery in your tools, whether you're willing to risk a warranty issue or not. If the tool is over three years, it doesn't really matter. Um, but again, these are your tools, your decision. I can only offer a recommendation on what I've found. 
I like the batteries, I like the price, I'll try them out and see how they work in the long run. I have some Ryobi batteries that are actually six years old and are still going strong, and I have one that's died that was only a year old. So, who knows? If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. And speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right over here. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.